Hello everybody, this is my updated guide on how to fix crashing for Path of Exile 2 on the PC. This will only work for NVIDIA users, so please click away if you're not using NVIDIA on the PC. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is enable GPU hardware scheduling. So we're gonna start menu, go to settings. From here, go to system, go to display right here on the very top. Scroll down until you see graphics. Click on that. Click on change default graphic settings. And here on the very top, you should see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You wanna turn this off. Oh, I'm sorry, on, you want to turn this on. And then you have to restart your PC to accept the changes. Okay. Now let's do some NVIDIA specific fixes. What you want to do is install this software. I'm going to put a link to the GitHub. It's going to give you a warning when you install it. You can read the GitHub site yourself. You can trust me that it's not a virus. And then when you run it, you extract it, then you run it. Now there's a couple of different steps to do when you run it. When you run it, it's gonna come up with something like this. So what you wanna do is verify that Path of Exile 2 is detected by your NVIDIA driver. So what is gonna happen is that Path of Exile 2 is incorrectly detected as Path of Exile 1, which causes many different errors. So how do you do that? Okay, let's go into Steam. Find Path of Exile 2, right click on it, go to Properties. Go to installed files, go to browse. Here it's gonna come up with an installation folder. And right here you want to click and drag Path of Exile Steam.exe into this software. Okay, great. Now, because I fixed it, uh, it's going to, it comes off here on the profile as Path of Exile 2. However, before I fixed it, this profile was Path of Exile 1. Now this is a very common problem for people. So basically uh, your NVIDIA driver will think that this is a Path of Exile 1 uh, executable. So how do you fix this? So what you do is you remove the application and you're gonna see a bunch of Path of Exile applications including this one and you want to remove them. And then you want to change the profile to Path of Exile 2. You want to click on add application to current profile. Then you want to go back into this folder, this file path that you got from Steam, copy it, paste it into here as I did, and find Path of Excel Steam.exe. And you are forcing NVIDIA drivers to understand that this is Path of Excel 2 and not Path of Excel 1. Uh, Rewatch the video if uh, any of that was confusing. Now, if you want to run Path of Exile 1, so what basically this will do, uh, this will stop, make Path of Exile 1 stop working if you have it installed, um, and we'll only prioritize Path of Exile 2. I'm gonna put some instructions under the video on how to run both of them uh, concurrently. Uh, it's a little bit too complicated for me to go into that, and I do not have Path of Exile 1 currently installed, so I'm gonna skip it. Okay, now once you've done this, there's a couple of different uh, things you want to change here to make sure that Path of Exile 2 runs better and doesn't crash. Okay, so you want to modify the following settings. Scroll down until you see R bar feature right here. You want to change this from disabled to enabled. You're going to see R bar options under that as 0x0000000000. You want to change that to 0x, well, this one, okay. And then the last thing you want to change is the R bar size limit right here. It is blank. You want to change this to 0x00, well, okay, I'm not gonna say it out, but let me uh, copy and paste it from my notepad here. There we go. Paste it here and press enter. And then you hit apply changes, and then you hit apply changes once again and then you close the software. That should fix many issues, but there are a couple of optimizations that we can do to improve uh, FPS and, well, reduce stuttering. So while we're at it, let's change a couple other things to make sure that it runs even better on an NVIDIA card. So let's let's go back into uh, NVIDIA control panel. So make sure you have this installed if you do not have it installed. 
On the left hand side, you're gonna see manage 3D settings. And from here, click on that. And from here, go to global settings. You're gonna see global settings right here. Okay, scroll down until you see shader cache size. Make sure this is at least 10 gigabytes, ideally 100 gigabytes, and then click apply. And the next thing we're going to do is delete some shader cache and some other things. So you want to open file explorer, go to C, go to program, I'm sorry, go to users, go to whatever user you're currently logged in as, and then you're going to see app data right here. Uh, this is a hidden folder, so you have to enable hidden folders. Uh, so go view, show hidden items. If you're in Windows 11, if you're Windows 10, it's a similar process. Click on that, go to roaming, and go to Path of Exile 2. Now what you want to do is delete two different folders, or I should say you want to delete the contents of different folders. You want to click on this, hit Control A, delete all of them, then go to Minimap, and do the same, hit control A, delete. Do not worry, both of these will be restored when you boot up Path of Exile 2. Change a couple of Windows graphic settings, go to search, go to settings, go to system, display, go to graphics. Okay, here, uh, find the app that you want. So Path of Exile, Steam, right here. Um, if you don't see it, you can add it to here by clicking uh, this button here. And then once you find Path of Exile, you can see this is a Steam Apps Common Path of Exile 2. By the way, you can again find the, the file path through Steam as I did previously in the video. Go to Options and then here you can uh, force this into high performance mode um, and see if that well fixes the issue. Okay. Now there's a couple of different things that you want to change within the game. So let's change those while we're at it. Great, while we're here, click on options. Uh, for the render, you want this to be either DirectX 12 or Vulkan. You want the display mode to be full screen. Uh, you keep changing. And uh, you want engine multi-threading. Right here, you want to make sure this is on. Again, if you're crashing between town portals or if you're crashing when traveling, then you want to turn this off uh, temporarily, then turn it back on uh, when you're not traveling through the town portal. And next, you want to enable triple buffering. While you're in the game, whoops, you want to hit Control Alt Delete, go to Task Manager, go to Details. Find pathofxl.exe, right click on it, go to set affinity. Now what you want to do here is turn off CPU 0. For some reason CPU 0, uh, turning this off stops crashing in Path of XL 2. I have a different video where I show you how to enable this auto, or uh, I should say disable CPU 0 every time when you start Path of XL 2. So watch that video if you don't know how to do it. I'm gonna link it uh, in the video somewhere here. And the last thing I would recommend is this software called Exit Lag. This software is amazing. What it does is that it uses VPN to find the server that is closest to you to give you the lowest ping possible. I had 30 ping when I started Path of Exile 2. Now it's down to 15. It's free to test for three days. You don't need a credit card. And it also has a lot of settings within Windows that increases FPS. You just download it, you go to library, you find Path of Excel 2, you click on it, you go to server automatic, optimize routes, apply routes. You can go to FPS boost and it will have a bunch of uh, settings for Windows. And you can check right here, my connections to Steam, I'm getting five ping. It is absolutely incredible. Give it a try, why not, it's free. If this video helped you, leave the video a like and please subscribe. If it didn't help you, leave the video a comment and I will do my best to get back to you.